Hi there guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at how to navigate your 3D um, viewport using mouse navigation. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za and we make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back to the tutorial here. So now, in the previous videos, we covered your basic navigation functions and buttons here. Then we looked at your 3D widget here on the top right. Now we're going to be looking at your mouse, how to navigate it with your mouse and some shortcut keys or hotkeys. And like I mentioned in the previous video, most of these or these two have their own limitations where the mouse one in many ways to me is the most rounded even though you cannot um, fit your zoom or uh, should I say go home or fit zoom or use your magnifying glass you can pretty much do all of these operations just about um, without having to use any of these other buttons which is very convenient because it's a more natural workflow and uh, in my opinion so this also if you come from any previous uh, 3d softwares then this should come quite natural obviously the combination of keys might vary from software to software but you'll very quickly pick up what works and what doesn't so now the first one we're going to look at today is zooming we've briefly covered it already in a previous video and that is when you simply use your mouse wheel and you wheel forward and backwards so this will be zooming in zooming out now it does get a bit tricky when you're zooming out. It's a bit like the first time you reverse a car and you think if you turn right, you're gonna go one way and you end up going the opposite because now you're looking backwards. So if you play around with this, um, just with a little bit of practice, you will quickly get the idea of it. I can just show you, for instance, let's say I've zoomed into this corner. Then let's say I wanna zoom more towards that side when I zoom out. So I don't wanna zoom back to the center then I actually want to go the opposite side. So if I'm on the right and I zoom out, it's going to go to the left. If I am on the left, it's going to go to the right. So you can see that. So you would imagine, okay, I want to zoom out this way. You zoom and you go even more this way. And then you just, it gets frustrating because um, it's like, no, I want to go back to the center, but it just doesn't want to go there. So then what ends up happening is you have to grab a pan tool, try pan it, and you're thinking this thing is useless. <laughs> So then, like I said, so what you want to do, let's say you are zoomed in here, you want to go back to the center, take your mouse far to the left, you zoom it. So pretty much when you're zooming out, it's the opposite of where your mouse is. And when you're zooming in, it zooms into where your mouse is. So if I want to zoom to that point, I can zoom there. Now, in many ways, if you were centered into the um, uh, canvas, you can just keep your mouse there, zoom out, and it will go to the original point. So that's also a little tip that's good to remember that uh, makes you navigating a bit easier. But if for some reason you have to zoom out this way more, maybe you've got another shape that you want to work on. Instead of having to um, pan or something, you can always just go in the opposite direction and zoom there and zoom back. So that's a, a, a nice little trick. When you're zooming out opposite, zooming in, go there where you want to go. Now I would definitely recommend um, practice this a bit. So uh, create a new sheet, put a shape, and then you see if you can. First of all, I would recommend first seeing if you can do the basic. So go to the center, try zoom to the middle of your shape, and then zoom out again in the middle of your shape, just to see if you can get that basic down. Then grab a point on it, zoom towards it, leave your mouse there, zoom out. So you're just getting a habit of how to go back to the center of your design. So it's a very good uh, practice to keep your navigation smooth. And then lastly, what you can do is you zoom in at one point and then um, you try hop around to different shapes if you have by zooming in towards it. And then when you zoom out, you go opposite to where you want to go just to get used to the, um, the concept of um, zooming. So I would recommend do that, get a bit lost inside and then you try with your zooming to get to, back to the center. Obviously in a real design, you probably won't use that. Um, but to get competent with your zooming, it is a great way to do it. So once again, just use your mouse wheel, zooming forward, zooming backwards, and then opposite direction when zooming out to go to the direction you actually want to go to. 
a bit confusing but like i say with some practice you'll get you used to it but yeah that is it and our first zoom if we head here to software training.co.za you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and you can also isolate your search here on the top right if you do not however find the training videos you're looking for just simply go here request a training video fill in the mini form and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you but otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers